everybody, my name is Jay. I'm going to tell you about Expedition 40, The Secret of Seasons. Expedition 40, The Secret of, Se of Seasons. Packing for 40 degree latitude. On this expedition, you will make two trips around the world, one at 40 degree north latitude and one at 40 degrees south latitude. You, re, uh, you are going to be traveling in January. Packing will be difficult because your trip will uh, take you to two different seasons. You're not going to need both summer and winter clothes for this trip. Opposite seasons. Earth it, it is tilted in space, and its tilt causes the seasons. As Earth orbits the sun throughout the year, the tilt does not change. Because of this tilt, different areas of our planet receive varying amounts of sunlight each day. In January, the northern hemisphere is tilted away from the sun, causing winter there. At the same time, the southern hemisphere is tilted towards the sun, causing summer there. In June, the opposite is true. What season is it in Australia during June? New York a City, United States. It's a good thing you pack a heavy quilt, a coat, because January is cold in New York City at 40 degree north latitude. Temperatures are in the 20s Fahrenheit. Are in 20 Fahrenheit. People are all wrapped up in heavy coats, hats, and scarves. As you walk through the city streets, you hear many different languages and smell the aromas of foods from from a variety of countries. For lunch, your choice are kebab from Lebanon, kebab from Lebanon, egg rolls from China, sushi from, uh, from Japan, or tacos from Mexico. Although New York City, uh, city is an American city, people from all over the world call it home. You walk to Central Park and watch the ice skaters. What is it like here in June? You ask men renting skates. Oh, the weather is hot then. People ride bikes and have picnics in the park. Yeah. Beijing, China. You board your plane for the long flight to Beijing, the capital of China, because Beijing is at a 39 degree north latitude. It is also very cool in January. All across Tiananmen Square, people are bundled up. Tiananmen Square is south of the Forbidden City, an ancient walled Chinese city built in the 1400s. You, uh, you decide to take a short drive out of Beijing to Longqing George, Gorg. The site of the Ice and Snow Festival. At the Gorg, you'll see a winter wonderland of fireworks, light show, and ice sculptures. The festival runs from January to March every year. No visit to Beijing would be complete without seeing the Great Wall of China. The Great Wall of China was first constructed about 2,000 years ago. It was the longest structure on Earth, built across mountains to protect against invaders. You ask a, a guy to take you to the co a Great Wall, but he says, Okay, but it's very cold. Maybe snowing. Summer's better. It's much warmer then. Madrid, Spain. From Beijing, you travel around 40 degrees uh, north latitude to the European city of Madrid. 
Madrid is the capital of Spain and Spanish cultures. We decide to take a walk down on one Madrid's uh, main street, the Gran Villa, Villa, to see its famous buildings. It's a sunny day in January, and many people are outdoors. We decide to uh, sit down at an outdoor cafe to order several ta uh, tapas, bit sized food such as bacon wrapped dates or chicken with wheat. You shed your coat and think, what a nice way to spend a, to spend a winter day. You realize that Madrid is not cool as New York City or Beijing. In winter, tem uh, temperatures are in the 40s and 50s. Snow is rare. Sometimes it is even warm enough to sit outdoors. Currents and peninsulas. One cause of the warmer season is the North Atlantic Drift, an ocean current that brings warm air to Western Europe. I just checked. Sorry. The, the, uh, this current makes Western Europe's climate warmer than they would normally at, uh, be at latitudes of 40 or 50 degrees. The other cause of Madrid's warmer weather is the location of the Iberian Peninsula. A peninsula is a piece of land that is bordered by water on three sides. Large bodies of water make climates milder, which causes winters in Madrid to be cool, but not too cold. Wellington, New Zealand. Now it's time to view the January weather at 41 degrees south latitude. Wellington, New Zealand is the world's southernmost capital city. Wellington is located on Cook Strait, a narrow cha uh, channel of water that separates two main islands of New Zealand. The summer air is around 75 degrees Fahrenheit. You ride the cable car up to the high hills above the city. You take in the view. The harbor is full of ships, and the beaches are crowded with people. Going to the beach would be a good way to spend this January day. Valdivia, Chile. Next stop in Southern Hemisphere in Valdivia, uh, Divia, Chile, at 39 degrees south latitude. Valdivia. Sits, uh, sits at the mouth of three rivers that flow through the Pacific Ocean. You decide to take a riverboat cruise to see the remains of Spanish forts that were built in the uh, 1500s when Spain colonized the South American South America. Just as you board the flow, you see two thousand pound sea lions flopping down the street. The sea lions are headed for lunch at the fish market in the street. On the river, I, uh, I mean at the fish market on the river. Others are sunning themselves on rafts in the river waiting for leftovers. The Secret of Seasons During 40 degree north and south latitudes in January, you see firsthand how the season depends not just on the time of the year, but also when where you are. During the same week in January, you felt the cold of winter in the northern hemisphere, the warmth of summer in the southern hemisphere. You learned how the northern hemisphere uh, tilts away from the sun in January, when summer hemisphere tilts towards it. Now you know that the secret of seasons, where would you rather spend your January?